Today's video is on a viewer's request, everything about mantras and chanting. If you're beginning your spiritual journey and you've heard of mantra chanting, but don't really know much about it and wonder, do they really work? And if they do, which mantras are beneficial to chant? Today's video is going to answer all of those questions for you. The word mantra comes from a Sanskrit word, mana means mind and tra meaning protection. So mantras are used to control and protect the mind. Just like my other videos, you don't really have to blindly take me for my words. Experiment it yourself and see how this works. It's important to understand the logic behind why mantras work before you actually do mantra chanting. Else, it's like following the crowd aimlessly. So our Vedic scriptures say that the entire universe is a result of sound vibration. Everything is energy. Mantra is basically a word or a sound repeated to help us turn inwards and connect with our inner self. Mantra chanting introduces a high frequency sound in our system that changes our aura and energy. Now, why does mantra chanting work? Sound has a lot more impact than words because sound is the language of our soul. So we have our outer gross body, which is made up of five elements, earth, water, air, fire, ether. Then we have our subtle body, which is the mind and intelligence. And after that, finally comes our spirit or the soul. The words we speak touches the first two layers, but the sound touches the soul, the very creation, the consciousness within. Mantra is not to be spoken, but it's to be chanted because chant is a sound which touches your soul if you're fully involved in that process and that is why it works. When chanting a mantra, don't really involve your mind by trying to find the meaning. Simply chant and let the sound do its thing to open the door to your soul. You simply be the observer. That's why when a newborn baby cries and you chant Aum, you'll notice that the crying stops because at that time, the soul of the baby and the sound are in full contact. Before we get into which mantras are good, let's quickly see what's in it for you. A regular mantra chanting helps increase willpower, mind power, reduces anxiety and depression because that sound releases happy hormones. So as a result, you feel more relaxed and calm right after chanting. Outside of the gross and subtle body benefits, mantra chanting also immensely cleanses our energy and vibe of the soul. Emotions like pride, ego, lust, jealousy, anger, which each of us experience in subtle or big ways in our day-to-day, -day, can really block that energy channel in our body. So when you chant a mantra, it helps clear that blockage by calming your mind. If you're new to mantra chanting or wondering which mantra should you chant, I'd recommend by chanting one round of Aum, which is basically 108 times on your beads on a daily basis every morning, because that has immense health benefits. If you're feeling overwhelmed or anxiety, chanting Aum for 10 minutes a day will reduce anxiety and depression and you'll start seeing the differences in just as short as a week. Remember to always chant mantra from a place of goodness and with slow breaths because that's the best way to open the doorways to your soul. Many chant Aum incorrectly so I'll put the link to one of my older videos where I chant Aum so you could refer to that. For a mantra to remove obstacles and negativity from one's life, chant the Ganesh mantra which is Om Gana Gana Pataya Namaha. A mantra to awaken your divine energy within, chant Om Namah Shivai. And one of my favorite mantras, which eliminates the negative emotions of anger, jealousy, arrogance, to replace it with kindness, love, selflessness, to take one step closer to liberation and higher in spirituality to know our true self, it's the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, which is Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. One round of chanting is basically 108 times on your mala. So that mantra will help you connect and that's the way I go about it. You could listen to mantras as well 108 times if you're not comfortable chanting. There are many more mantras which target specific life problems. So if you're interested in learning about specific mantras and how to chant or if you have any questions, just leave me a comment in the comment box below and you'll be sure to hear from me. If you found this video helpful, share it with your dear and near ones and subscribe to the channel to join me in the self-development journey. Until next time!